Decent crowd at the Walden Galleria earlier this morning as folks got a jump start on their Black Friday shopping. The mall opened at 7 o'clock. Some of the anchor stores, though, opened at 5 and 6 a.m. Well, people that we talked to this morning, some of them had shopping lists and specific people to buy for, while others were just in it for the tradition and hopefully a good deal. I mean, I got some stuff for, you know, $10.99, $12.99, $19.99. So a pair of boots that were 80 and I got it for 30. Oh, thrill of the hunt for sure. For sure. Yeah. We don't really have a strategy. We just like see something or like, okay, this would be great for Aunt Allison. This would be great for Aunt Lonnie. This would be great for Aunt Laura. This would be great for our cousin. Do you find that the deals are better on yes. this side of the border? That's why we're here. Okay. Everything is cheaper. And I just told the fine gentleman it's cheaper here and your selection is better. And a reminder that the Walden Galleria will be open until 9 o'clock tonight. Well, as that Black Friday shopping continues this midday, this morning we're talking to UB Associate Professor of Marketing, Charles Lindsay, about the shopping trends. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. And I guess one of the biggest questions we have for you is, are retailers expecting people to spend more or, or spend less this year? A little bit more, uh, Heather. Great question, uh, but not not uh, the gains that we've seen the last few years. And really, uh, that boils down to uh, fuel and and food prices, inflation continuing, uh, the economy, uh, credit card delinquencies are up, and student loan bills now are due. So, when you say that people are going to be spending more, is it necessarily because they're buying more items, or they're spending more money because? things are more expensive and perhaps they're buying fewer things. You bet nominal versus real spending. That's exactly right because of inflation uh, up a little bit in terms of real spending, uh, but modest gains, I think this year and, and retailers, I think, are, have been expecting that. And uh, that's really why, in part, uh, we've, we've seen uh, more deals uh, uh, this year. Uh, just in terms of total number of deals. And uh, as you know, uh, Black Friday deals, uh, they just keep getting earlier and earlier. The season uh, gets long, the spending season, if you will, gets just longer and longer. Yeah, and Black Friday, it doesn't seem to be quite as trendy as it was maybe 10 years ago. The landscape obviously changing. We're not focused on that one day of deals like you just mentioned, especially after the pandemic. But I noticed this morning some of the deals, at least in my opinion, didn't seem quite nearly as attractive, as good as maybe we saw just a few years ago. Is that the, the direction we're moving? That's exactly right. A lot of deals and uh, a longer spending season, but, but very... Uh, but uh, what we're seeing is, uh, in, in many cases, we're, we're just not seeing the, the uh, favorability of the deals like we've seen the last couple of years. That's exactly right. Uh, and Black Friday, to your point, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, still important, but not as important as a total, as a percent of total holiday spending, November and December, as those days used to be. That's exactly right. Yeah, and you have some helpful tips and some different ways that people can save additional money, perhaps if the sales aren't so great. What are those? That's exactly right. So there are some apps out there that can really help your shoppers. So uh, and plugins, browser uh, plugins. So Capital Shopping, uh, there's a Capital uh, Shopping browser plugin that will automatically apply coupon co codes uh, when you're shopping online. Uh, Shop Savvy is an app that you can use in store to scan, scan barcodes, and it will let you know where the uh, where you can get that item uh, at the lowest cost uh, in your area. And then a great app for those of your viewers that like to shop Amazon called Camel, Camel, Camel. It'll actually track over a period of time uh, the lowest that a particular item has sold on Amazon uh, over, let's say, the last three months or six months or even a year. So you really can can uh, get a sense of whether that deal really is, in fact, uh, the, the deal that uh, you, 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 you may think it is. Uh, and a lot of those apps, a lot of those plugins, they, they do the work for you, which we love even more work, or in this case, shop smarter, not harder. So we appreciate your time, Professor Charles Lindsay from UB, the man that we need to talk to about all things savings. And thanks for joining us. And we're going to put some of those tips to good use, hopefully. My pleasure, Heather. Thanks for having me. All right. Have a great day.